I, I didn't actually want to ask you about the great sand dunes, tiger beetle, mm-hmm. and what makes it so unique uh, to this area and why it's able to exist in such an extreme landscape. Oh man, that's an, inc- an incredible creature, uh, Joey, because it's, it lives in a, in a, the dunes are a hostile environment. I mean, they sizzle in the summer, it's hot. <laughs> And they freeze in the winter and it's, they get sandblasted and, and all that. And so uh, <clears throat> back many years ago, there was a priest, a local priest in the, in the community of San Luis. And when he wasn't doing his priest activities or duties, uh, he was chasing insects. And he came out and he found this beetle. And this, this, uh, this beetle is new to science. It, no, no one had ever described it or identified it. And so if that's the case, then you get to name it. <laughs> and and his name was Father Bernard Roger, and he's from Spain, and, and he uh, was a Theatine father. And so he named this tiger beetle, this, the cruise of the great sand, sand dunes tiger beetle, Cincidalia, the genus, a Theatina after his order. And so that, that's one of the things that uh, we're trying to understand as managers is that um, since they only occur here, you would think, well, there it's a concern about them. But the population is healthy and it's, it, and it's uh, holding its own really well. Uh, you know, it's, it's, what more can we do for it? It's in wilderness, it's in dunes, it's in, uh, you know, a protected area. And so, uh, but it, it's great that you, when you see one, you, you realize, wow, and that's the only, uh, only, only place this is found. And there's, that's uh, true. I think there's five endemics. It, it depends. It changes once in a while. But, but there's a robber fly and, a, and a, another darkling beetle that is only found here at Great Sand Dunes. 